When it comes to binders and portfolios for your Magic the Gathering, Pokemon, and standard sized trading cards, there's quite a lot of choices. So much so that despite over half a dozen previous binder and portfolio review videos, where I've covered everything from Ultra Pro to Legion to Ultimate Guard and back again, there are still brand new designs and ideas being put out there. That's why this video will look at three new innovations in the line of portfolios and binders for card storage. Specifically, the Pirate Lab Summoner Deluxe, Inked Gaming's Custom Artwork Showcase, and the Ultra Pro Four Column Deck Builders Premium Pro Binder. And with so many choices, some might be better than others, sometimes by a lot. Let's take a look. First, let us examine the Pirate Lab Summoner Deluxe Binder. An innovative design, the binder holds 480 cards and sheets that fold out to display 24 cards at a time. This is a clever idea, very well enacted here because it allows you to have a quasi four column effect, but a super compact design. In fact, compared to even nine pocket portfolios, the Summoner Deluxe is more compact. And when I say this design is well enacted, I mean it. Remember the disastrous Ultra Pro 4 Up? Ultra Pro was trying for something similar not too long ago, but their execution was a mess, with pages that snapped back in your face, ugly, scuffed exterior, and a total lack of firmness. Here, as you can see, pages lay flat, whether you're on page 20 or right up at the top on page one. The exterior is thick, much more durable than the cheap Ultra Pro plastic of the 4 Up. Although I do want to point out that this four column quasi design is still interrupted by the page folds running down the centers. And I don't feel play sets pop quite as much as with a true four column binder. So here you are sacrificing that for the compactness, which is fine. As I've said, different players have different needs. What isn't fine is that the interior pages are prone to scuffing and scratching. Here you can see these pages only after a few brief openings and closings. Oh my goodness, and this one has got some kind of warping going on? I hope this is being conveyed on camera, but basically, there's a crinkled or rippled effect here that I can run my finger along. I don't know that I'd even trust my cards in this long term. In addition to all of this, I had several of these pocket pages tear on me. What's going on, Pirate Lab? I usually do extensive testing on these products, but this all happened within the first week. If I could discover it this quickly, why couldn't they? This is just heartbreaking because otherwise there's so many pros. There's the zipper for added protection, the compactness which I really like, holding 480 cards, yet each side folds in and out, displaying 24 at a time, the pages lay flat, you have everything you could ever want except of course protective pages that don't tear, scuff, and wrinkle and warp. Price is great too at $24.99 if only this worked, but I'm afraid that it does not. When I first opened this, I thought I'd be giving this product a B or possibly even an A. But after seeing what happened to the pages, no, this is what a fail is reserved for. The fact that I would rather put my cards in the Ultra Pro 4 Up says a lot. I don't understand how this happened. Inked Gaming, makers of custom artwork gaming playmats and dice bags, have figured out how to get into the custom artwork binder game. Game. Something I didn't think they'd be able to do successfully until I saw this, the showcase. The showcase is a cover that either comes with binder pages or can be used with your existing binders. Wow. The exterior is a cloth custom printing that either uses featured artwork or your own custom submissions. This cloth is backed by a firm cover, giving the overall binder great protection for your collection. Now the cloth itself is not waterproof, but it is water resistant. A rugged 600D Cordura. And when you combine that with a zipper, you get a pretty great protection for everything from the elements to cards just slipping out. Not that these fail a spin test. So 
So one of the really neat things besides the customization is the ability to put this cover on existing binders. Here I have a fairly old and fairly flimsy Ultra Pro Pro Binder. I've got some of my less precious cards in it. And as you no doubt would expect, grabbing even a not very heavy book is going to just fall off. The reason I do this test, by the way, is because what happens if someone sits on your backpack, steps on your backpack, it gets shoved in an overhead bin. If I were to take this with all my cards in it and do that to it, I don't like what the result would be. I'm not even going to do it with these not very precious cards. So you want a certain firmness on the cover. That's where the inked binder comes in. It comes, of course, with its own interior pages, but this can be removed pretty easily. And hey, I have here my Ultra Pro binder. Starting to get a bit of finesse to this. Well, not that much. <laughs> It's not that tricky. And now I've taken my old binder and given it not only a nice water resistant cover, but I've given it added thickness. Same binder you just saw, same book. Oh my goodness, but let's go further than that. Where's a big one? Oh, oh my poor wrist. Look at that. That is added protection, in my opinion. The included interior pages are side-loading for easy access and fit single-sleeved cards, double-sleeved cards, or unsleeved cards securely. With a total of 19 pages, double-sided, 342 cards can easily be stored. The handle, while a nice idea, is very tight along the spine. It works. It's not ideal, though. As always, Inked knows what they are doing when it comes to inked printing. Colors are vibrant, and I even tested a custom uploaded image to confirm they offer the same follow-through and customer service as with their playmats and dice bags. I especially like that the control is given to you, the customer. Buy these from an artist's shop or upload your own artwork. Get them with the interior binder pages or without to use on your own. Pros, vivid cover art, acid and PVC free pages. Can choose to have included binder pages or use on your own. Durable and water resistant cover. And of course that zipper to keep cards from ever falling out and getting lost. The only con here is that the handle was very tight and that's not very much of one at all. This is a great product at a great price and I think Inked continues their winning streak with a solid A. I hope they look into four and 12 page sizes in time. Next from Ultra Pro, we have a binder that truly displays and shows off play sets of your Magic the Gathering and Pokemon cards. The Deck Builders Premium Pro Binder. Finally, a high quality four column binder from Ultra Pro. Textured black pages to give cards a classic framed look while side loading pockets help keep cards in place. Just to be extra safe, Ultra Pro has employed a zipper. Wow, we're seeing zippers on everything. That's so good. And this means the binder will always keep your contents safe and secure. I also find having four columns is especially helpful in organizing collections and seeing which parts of a playset might be missing. Great to have golds to build to, don't you think? 
And given how expensive and how precious our collections are, showing them off in the best possible way is a plus. Filled with some of my favorite collector's cards, am I going to trust Ultra Pro's exterior to keep them safe in case of someone sitting on this or stepping on my backpack? Well, actually, yes, I am. Bent a little bit, I suppose, but that's pretty good considering their usual fare. All materials and pages are, of course, acid-free and non-PVC. Holds 480 Magic, Pokémon, or other standard-sized cards, and these pages can accommodate unsleeved, single-sleeved, or even double-sleeved cards. What about fitting in an average backpack? Here I have not a gamer backpack, it's just my regular backpack, the Fool, one of my favorites. And lo and behold, fits just fine, and I can zip it up. I could even put in a few more if I wanted to. Plenty of room, it will fit in a standard sized backpack, such as the Fool. Pros, each row holds a four card playset. Side loading pocket design helps keep cards in place. Acid and PVC free. Classy design, the faux leather and textured exterior work well. And of course are firm and durable. Zippered closure for added protection. Holds 480 standard sized cards. I've never been a big fan of Ultra Pro binders. Usually think of them as good at best, but never great. But this is truly excellent. What can I say? It's an A. I hope very much this video has been of some help to you, you can help me out by remembering to like, share, subscribe, or just by leaving a message. And remember, you can't play magic at Target or Walmart, so whether you're buying binders or accessories or card packs themselves, when possible, try and spend that money where you spend time playing magic, and that is at your local game store. You're supporting your magic community. And this video is brought to you by my and many other people's local game store, Card Kingdom, a brick and mortar pillar of this community, as well as the Patreon support of viewers such as you. These are the people that keep Talarian Community College going and growing strong. So thank you.